Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave, and today is my first, um, I suppose you call it opinion piece. And I thought while I was um, developing a roll of Kentmere, so if you can see that, Kentmere 400, and I'm playing around with um, high contrast images where I uh, uh, hopefully through development or through the film in the camera take very high contrast black and white pictures rather than 50 shades of grey. I thought I'd talk about something else that I'm doing, well, you may or might not know. Um, I'm just going to get all this ready to go in the bag. That I'm taking my full motorcycle license in the UK. I've already done the CBT and I've already done the theory. Obviously passed both because I've already paid have my assessment on a 650cc Kawasaki bike and I paid for I'm getting ready to do four days training on a DAS course for my mod one and mod two driving tests September or uh, late September we're in September now so a bit later this month and then hopefully by the October the 19th I'll have my for motorbike test. Now, I'm 55 years old, been on roads a while, lost all my teeth in a mad, very bad bike crash when I was 18. So why am I going back on a bike again? That's another story for another time, it's not for today. My opinion today is about how, uh, how bad, bad, yeah, how bad uh, the general the general state of driving is in this country in the last sort of 30 years or so since the late 90s and you can see it steadily getting worse and worse and worse and I start to think why why would that um, happen you know have the examiners and the teachers that you know in bike lorry car doesn't matter what vehicles it's all the same it's shared uh, shared shame really I'd put it um, have the test examiners starting to give tests out with a pack of smarties or something well the data doesn't stack up with that um, ironically the amount of motorcycle uh, passes that I can find on the uh, stats the government release is that actually in the last couple of years forgetting uh, the covid period um that the amount of bike riders that are passing their test first time has come down which would show that either the teaching is uh, not as good as it could be and the, and the bike riders are fading because of that Um, or the test has got harder. Car tests seem to sort of st have stuck around the middle, you know, roughly what they've been doing forever, kind of thing. Uh, and lorries, HGV, seems to have increased. So something's going right with the lorries. So I'm just loading it onto the onto the reel here, you know, onto the spool or whatever it is. Yeah, so. Uh, Oh, popped out. Said the could turn up. We go back in there. Sticky hands. It's a bit sweaty today. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Right. Where are we? Where's our little notches? There. Yeah, where are you gone? It's talking while I was trying to do the technical. No, let's start again. Start again and find the uh, entry point. <laughs> there it is. Right, okay. Can be a bit tricky sometimes. Anyway, I'm probably making it look harder than it actually actually is because I'm talking as well. So I'm going to bang these out quite quickly. But anyway, right. Get that moving. Right there we go. Do -do -do -do. So yeah, so we can sort of rule out really. Um, that the tuition and testing is failing the UK. Um, 
because you know if you fail your your test you go back for more training or you'll change your driver you know and, and that person won't be in business long if they keep if they have a high failure rate so now we move on to the contentious part of this discussion really so that's what i hope hope it'll be and don't okay, turn into a you know internet slagging match So I've put this on backwards because I was chatting. It doesn't matter, I've done it before. For all you know how to develop film, it's going on backwards. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I'm putting it into the developing hot. Why is it? can do this stuff with your eyes shut, you turn a camera on and then you're getting a mucking fuddle. There we go. Okay, we need to shut up with complicated bits Dave. <laughs> okay, locked in. Marvellous, wonderful, we can get on and do everything now. Marvellous. Okay, so yeah, so the contentious part. Um, I hope this does become a discussion and not drop to name calling because it's just silly. Uh, this is part of a discussion. This bit is contentious and I don't care really. Okay. Over the last 30 odd years, rightly or wrongly, not getting into that discussion, we've had an influx of more than 10 million new people to our island to make their to make their lives, which is you know good, bad, indifferent, not, not interested. Um, but with it comes <coughs> um, and driving on the license they gained in their country, an international license, which is the same for us. You know, if we go to somewhere else, we, we drive on our license, an international license. Anyway. D23 I'm using, my favourite developer, and that's uh, Replenished, my little bottle of Replenished I've got there, it's 22 mil of that per roll, to Replenish, XR, and stop, marvellous, anywho's, um, I was looking at my phone all the time, I can't remember what Kent there is. Because <coughs> I'm, I'm doing, because I've uh, underexposed it. Have I? Yeah. It's bringing the blacks uh, from my, so I've spot meted the darkest area where I want detail, but I want that to go black, so that would be grey, and so I drop it down two stops, and that'll get more towards black. Yeah, bringing the whites down so they're not blown out, but they're still white. Anyway, that's the theory, so that's what this test is all about. That's why I'm using Kemir 400, because it's cheap. <laughs> Anywho, so international licenses. First we have the EU project, not the continent of, the, of Europe, but the little club that, they've, that we've left and they still persist in. Um, if you come from uh, one of the EU project countries, you're allowed to drive your license on your license until you are 70, uh, just like us. And then you have to do a retest. And um, there we go. Now, we can then ask, are the driving standards for a driving test, let alone training, equivalent to or better than here in the UK? I don't know how you'd find that out, but uh, it does seem odd that uh, since we've had this influx, uh, like an open border really, uh, in many ways, another conversation for some other time, but that's not for today. Um, but could it be that, that um, the level of skill, the level of training, the level of testing, the level of, of importance put on 
having good driving skills, riding skills, lorry driving skills. Could that be part of it? Could that be why you see really bad lane uh, etiquette at roundabouts where people just cut people up left, right and centre regardless? Um, pedestrian uh, awareness, motorbike awareness, of course that's part where I'm coming from, but uh, even so, you know, cars have cr crashes with cars, cars have crashes with lorries, lorries have crashes with bikes, but you know, everyone has crashes with everything, so it's not picking on one set of motorists, it's trying to find the reasons, contributory I believe, because um, it's not just one reason, there's uh, each, re each issue, each area, each section will have a contributory factor on the whole. And then a solution, because I love coming up with solutions, right or wrong, but I'll come up with a solution. I don't just say, oh, whoa, look, it's happening. Oh, no. Okay, yes, it's happening. Here's potentially why, and here's potentially a, re a, a solution. So, yeah, international license. Then, obviously, outside the country, you have people that can come to our country, uh, tourist or not, it doesn't matter, uh, and use their international license to stay here for a couple of weeks or 12 months before they then too have to get a UK license. Now I don't know how strict the checking up on whether you have come to this country, uh, you, you are staying for whatever reason, um, and your license is checked. Um, so I'm just looking at the, uh, the mix. No, that won't be that, so I'm going to have to go. If you don't find uh, D23 over here, if you don't find D23 on, say, Massive Dev or uh, go to D76 stock, which I'm doing because that is stock, and it tells me 930 ish. Yeah, so you had about a little bit more. So I'm going to go 10 minutes, which feels about right actually. At 20 degrees. Sure. Going away. Get the clock out. I said clock, you mucky buggers. Okay, so it's already at 20 because the weather's warm, so I don't have to do anything. It's great this time of year. The Indian summer that we've had. Okie dokie, pour this in. Carry on conversation. Yeah, so uh, just for the first 30 seconds and then I tap it and then at the four minute I give it three of these uh, every minute. So yeah, um, so outside of Europe, so full international, so bum bum. It's full international, sorry, let me show you squeaking. Um, Yeah, so full international license. So yeah, so from any country, so that's like Dubai, where anecdotally I heard a story where uh, you get your license where you could be four up in a car, the, the examiner's on his mobile, and you drive for six minutes, and that gives you a license. license. True or not, I don't know, let me know. Um, but anecdotally there's, you know, horror stories about how people get a license in their country, and then they are free to um, to drive in our country for 12 months, if not longer, if you know they're naughty and they don't tell the authorities and get a full license over here, a full UK license. So that's the other country angle. And do they? So this is a 22 mil of uh, replenisher. Yeah. And you pour it in for each for each roll of film that you developed up to uh, I go about 20 25 rolls and then I take 750 mil out of here and then replenish this with fresh D23. So that's ready. And then when I pour this back in here, I leave 22 mil ish um, in here. But most of that will be on the film and that sort of stuff. 
Yeah, so. And the third part, the contributory factor, I think we've, we've ruled out testing, but it might be, training and testing. Might be a small part. International license, both from the EU projects and outside. Um, be a fair whack. And then we've just got just sheer pig ignorance and arrogance in elements of my car costs more than your house, get out of my way, peasant kind of thing, or, you know, I'm just, it's my road because I pay taxes and, and car tax and insurance. It's my road, get out of my way, that kind of arrogance. And we've all seen that on lots of videos on YouTube with cars and bikes and all this sort of stuff, lorries and people having to go at each other because they all think they've got you know it's their road so what's the solution well I've come up to one with, with one which is you know I'll put it forward that um, if the police catch you which thankfully they do quite a lot of people and your driving skill obviously if you've broken the law you've broken the law that's a different kettle of fish. But if your driving, your driving attitude is repugnant, then with video evidence, just not on the say so of a policeman, because you know we've got to get, got to be fair where we can be fair. That you are told to retest your UK test in full uh, before you can redrive. You can rejoin the roads. Uh, effective immediately um, and if you're on an international license then you have to go for a full UK test which then puts you through the training and the highway code and and all of the etiquette of road usage and it'd be fresh in your mind if you then get caught again and it's logged that you have done it again within five years then you're banned immediately for five years and then have to retest again international or UK um, before you can join our roads and that does sound harsh I know but at some point we have to try and do something to make our roads which we all share and we all need to use uh, a bit more pleasant than they currently are so what do you think? What do you think, eh? A bit too rough? Have you got a solution? Have you got other contributory factors to bad driving, riding, whatever you want to be, but you know, bad road usage? Um, let me know in the comments below. And um, that'll be that for now. I think that's enough. It's on my website as well, DaveCarrero.com. Uh, left it. I've, I've restarted that as a for my opinions <laughs> and photography, but generally opinions well about photography and road usage because I'm going to be doing um, photography via my motorcycle if I pass. Hopefully, I pass because uh, it's ordered now and it's actually in the country. <laughs> so I've got no chance, it's a Honda ADV 350 that I'm using as my first bike this time around, although I did have bikes back in the, what was it, early 80s, somewhere around there, when I, broke, when I lost my teeth, thanks to a Volvo, but hey, that's another story. Um, yeah, so I'll be uh, taking the cameras out around our beautiful country in all weathers, but not snow, because <laughs> I'm a coward, on <laughs> two wheels. Um, and sharing those pictures with you. So I'm going to speed this through till it gets to the end, which is about another three minutes. Um, then you can see me putting it up on the the uh, heater thingy there, which I'm not going to turn on. I'll just leave it on. I'll leave it hanging there for overnight, what to let it dry. And then we'll deal with scanning it tomorrow. So uh, for now, thank you very much indeed for listening to me waffle on. Please let me know your opinion below. It, you know, I, I do read them all. Uh, good and bad <laughs> and I wish you well and especially well on the roads 
Drive safe, ride safe, be safe. Right, keen eye, keen eyed ones amongst you will realise. Yeah. Well, we'll know that I, my uh, Canon <laughs> a battery, less than in life for charger batteries. <laughs> so I'm on my phone now. Uh, so, where are we? We stopped it, stopped the D23 and replenished it. Marvellous. And now we're going to fix it, we've done the stop. We're going to fix it for four, four and a half minutes or so. And then we go. And I'm not going to waffle on anymore uh, about my topic, opinion piece, as it were. So I'm just going to whiz through this for four, four and a half minutes, get it fixed. And then I'll get it washed in the kitchen and uh, hung up there. And then at the end of the video, hopefully show you what I've done. Okay, I'm just giving it 30 minutes, uh, 30, minutes, 30 seconds initial. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay, a bit of clean up, which I should be doing this. Yeah, really, this stuff stinks. Well, it doesn't stink, it's just it's not, it's not daisy fresh. <laughs> Anyways, we'll do that. And then we'll come back after I've washed it and hang it up. All right, see you in a moment. So yeah, so I'm back now. Um, gonna empty this in a moment, head back into the fix. Uh, take it into the kitchen, do an Ilford star wash. That's uh, five, so fill it up, five inversions out, fill it up, 10 inversions out, fill it up, 20 inversions out. And I've also got filter water. So the last one I do is a filter water with 10. That just gets any of the scummy bits on our water out. Seems to work for me, but you do you. So that's that done. Get as much out as possible. Okay. So, back in a mo when I've done the washing, and then um, we reveal it and put it up in the dryer that's not going to be switched on today because it's nice and warm. <laughs> back in a mo. <coughs> okay. So, back in the room, so you can see that. So, yeah, you can see that, right. So, back from this wash. And we'll see what rubbish I've made. So, 
sign over this so I don't actually see myself. Well, we have pictures. So I can't see where I'm at. Uh, here, right, so, just, so you can see we have pictures. Okay, shots of my garden and my thing. Got one that's got a bit bonkers there by those things. Where are we? One's got a bit bonkers there, the black one in the middle. See what that is, because I wrote down the, I made my own metadata as it were by writing down the settings I use for each shot because I'm just I'm just sort of trying to figure out how to get the high contrast um, in the film so I don't have to compensate for development which I can do just you add 30% or so and that'll do the same thing it'll Add more contrast. But I'm trying to get it in the, the camera, but we'll see. Maybe I'll do it the wrong way around, don't know. And that's why I bought Kenbeer. And we'll leave that overnight and we'll come back tomorrow with a charged up, charged up battery and um, see what I've produced. Back soon.